Okay, my name is Bill Thurston. Um, and I came to this workshop because I had uh, multiple chemical sensitivity and chronic fatigue, immunodeficiency syndrome, and fibromyalgia, and post-traumatic stress disorder-like symptoms. I heard about the dynamic neural retraining program from one of your former um, students uh, who was a, a friend that I knew who had had MCS for about 10 years when I met her. And she went through the program, recommended it, and I sat on it for a while before coming here. I did the, the, the workshop last week, starting last week, so it's been less than a week. I was somewhat skeptical. I was eager to believe it because if it were true, then it would be so wonderful. But I was actually skeptical because I have this deep science background. Uh, I've taught science for 40 years and research methods and so on. And I thought that in order to deal with this sort of set of illnesses, there had to be some heavy duty drugs and surgery involved. <laughs> so it couldn't be that simple. The first time I noticed a shift and I was certain about it was on the second day. Um, I was sitting outside with um, one of the other people in the, in the group uh, having lunch. Uh, we were out sitting in the sun and a group of teenagers came from behind us around on both sides and they were wearing the current perfumes and stuff that would have had me twitching on the, on the ground two weeks ago. <laughs> I was fine. I had absolutely no reaction. Already I can um, head off, I can dodge the MCS reaction. Um, when, I get in, when I encounter a smell, I've encountered dryer vents because I've been on my bike. Um, I actually went to a bank yesterday and sat in a banker's office with the other clients there and I would never have been able to do that without wearing a respirator before. In fact, some of the people in the bank didn't recognize me because they'd never seen me without a, a respirator on my mouth. I'm generally happier, and that spills over onto the people that I live with. Uh, they're happier too. Um, even the cat's happier. <laughs> um, I get out of chairs more easily than I used to. I don't have the... Um, energy crashes that I used to have. And I've been on a bicycle. I was on a bicycle for an hour on Wednesday. And that hasn't happened in years. I just haven't had the strength. And I wouldn't risk the energy crash that would normally have come after that sort of exercise. Before, in order to go outside, even sometimes into the backyard to get into the car, um, if there was a dryer vent smell or somebody had walked by with, with perfume or some neighbor had sprayed something on their lawn, I would have to wear the respirator or I'd be sick for four days. Um, and that meant that I had to wear that when I went out into public. So going shopping, uh, going to the farmer's market to buy organic food, uh, I was always encountering perfumes, so I had to have that on, on my face all the time. I haven't worn um, a respirator since the first day of the workshop last week. So it's been a full week. And I've been out every day, which I didn't used to. And I've been out every day uh, without a respirator mask in situations where I would normally have had to have it on during the last five years. So far, I'm just so happy. Um, I feel as though I'm taking really good drugs. <laughs> I'm getting exercise, um, which I wasn't able to do before. Uh, I'm able to think about the future in terms of, how, of what can I do rather than how will I survive. And that's really important to me. It's given me a whole new opening, which I hadn't had to worry about for a long time. Mm. I've had to worry about other things, but not what I can do. For anybody who has MCS, I would very strongly recommend that they try this. And if they try it, I'm pretty sure so far, I'm early on, but so far the 
results for me have been mir miraculous and the results that I've seen in other people have been miraculous and I think they should do it.